Coming up on the Blue Wave Sports Show, FEU Baseball and Softball begin Conference USA play. We will recap how they reached the national polls. And the football team left the Nets to reach out to the community by holding a two-hour practice open to the public to promote the program. Hello, I'm Omar Sardui. And I'm Avery Roberts. Welcome to the show. The softball team is ranked for the first time since 2004. The Lady Owls are ranked 23rd by the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association. The team opened up conference play by sweeping Middle Tennessee. FAU won Game 1 9-0 in six innings and Game 2 3-1. And the 18th ranked baseball team completed a conference USA sweep during the weekend by defeating UAB 5-0. Join us today is our softball and baseball analyst, Alan Chikatel. Alan? How you doing, Alan? Good, thanks. Alan, let me ask you. How are the ba baseball and softball team able to start off conference play undefeated like they did at the beginning of the season? Well, at the beginning of the season, they had some really good games against number 11, Mississippi State. They swept the two games against them. They're 18-4 and four this year, 5-1 and one to start off in conference. They did get the one loss from Middle Tennessee, but they swept UAB with very strong performances from Stephen Kerr, who was named the Conference USA Hitter of the Week. He hit 538, which raised the season average to 324. Uh, as for the softball team, they're 28 and six this year, which is fantastic. Incredible. Five and one in the conference, and they're actually five and zero oh away, which I thought was very interesting because they have some key away games coming up in conference. Two of three that they took from Southern Miss away and now they play FIU coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, Kylie Hansen has been a great player for them, pitcher. Uh, she was the Conference USA Player of the Week. She was 3-0 and and only gave up six hits, no earned runs, and 23 strikeouts in the last three games. So I look to those two players to really carry them forward as the conference schedule really heats up and they can move to the top of the rankings. Hmm. How do you feel about the, uh, the UM game coming up? Oh yeah, uh, UM, they are number two in the country, so it's going to be a great battle. Uh, FAU played uh, Florida last week, who was number one, and they took them very tightly to the end, only losing 2-1. So I think this game is going to be really good in pre predicting how they're going to do in the conference play. I'll for sure be at that game tonight. Thanks, Alan. We learned something new on the show today. The football team enjoyed a day at the park last week. Definitely has the story. Florida Atlantic University is reaching out to the community. The football team hosted a special spring practice at Joseph C. Carter Park in Fort Lauderdale in an effort to promote their football program. The Owls, who are just one week into their spring practice, left the nest to expand their fan base in South Florida. I'm glad that the Owls came here to represent Carter Park and they're a really good team. There are 10 Broward players on FAU spring roster, including safety, Richie Kittles. It makes me feel good because coming into my hometown where I'm from, like right around the corner, it feels good because everybody where I'm from get to comes out of watch, and then I'm looking for more people where I'm from to come to the football games. This two-hour practice takes place during spring break for both Broward and Palm Beach County schools and was open to the public. The crowd had a chance to participate in games and activities. I had fun. I had went to the bounce house, jumped, um, kicked the ball, ate donuts. The first 200 fans were treated to breakfast, and the first 300 kids got a free FAU football t-shirt. The event titled Practice with Partridge in the Owls hopes to generate new fans that will come out to see FAU on April 16th in their free spring game. Here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I'm Daphne August with the Blue Oyster Sports Show. NBA veteran and assistant coach Eric Snow has left the men's basketball team due to an unknown reason. Snow coached at FAU for two seasons before resigning under current head coach Michael Curry. This comes after the Owls' first conference tournament victory since joining the Conference USA by beating the UTSA Roadrunners but lost to the Old Dominion Monarchs the following day in the tournament. The men's team ended the season with a record of 8-25. The women's basketball team tipped off their Conference USA tournament play, facing off against the University of North Texas Mean Green, losing 79-74. The Lady Owls ended their season with a record of 14-16. The women's beach volleyball team got swept by UCLA 5-0. What do you think happened out there? I think they got overmatched. I feel like they need this as like a stepping stone because they're going to play plenty of great teams in the future. So they need this humbling experience. I feel like they will pull together as a team, get the confidence back, and hopefully pull in some yeah, they're, they're a very young team. Very young. A couple seniors. A lot of freshmen. Well, that's a wrap on this episode of Blue Wee Sports Show. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and Instagram.